Let's have a look at how I make butterfly antennas. I'm using, this is 12 gauge aluminium uh, brass colored florist wire and it's really, really soft. So it works really well for what um, I want to do. It comes in a roll like this and I just got it at our local craft shop called Spotlight uh, and um, very easy to manage. You could go down to um, 14 gauge if you wanted a bit finer or if you wanted it thicker you could do 10 gauge but it just depends on what the supplier has got. The other thing you'll need is a pair of pliers and preferably the ones with the smooth side here so you if you were making jewellery this is the sort of plier you'd have. There are no ridges or teeth in here. If you had ridges and teeth in here it would mark on the the wire or all little lines across it so unless you wanted it textured of course uh, so i would suggest that the other thing you need is something that will cut you don't need great big mega cutters like this you can also get jewelry jewelry cutters that are this size so very easy to manage if you decide this is the sort of stuff you want to do on a regular basis so the first thing i do is bend it at about maybe two and a half inches or six centimeters down just bend it in half keeping it as straight as you can and giving it a bit of a squeeze with your fingers for those who've got nice strong fingers I don't really so I'll need to get my pliers in here and squeeze it flat together on the end there so let me show you that up nice and close so you can see how um, flat that is. And of course, straighten it out a bit if you can. So once you've got that nice and straight, to make life easier, just nip off the bit you want to work with. Then up here, you can use the pliers like this to straighten it up. Because it's so soft, it's very easy to do. And then I just pop this end bit here, level here, which makes it just the perfect size for the butterflies that I've cut. And of course you would change that based on what you're using this for and just bend it up. See how you've got that? And then grab it on the end and bend it down a bit further. And then you can come on with the big munch and munch that down to the shape that you want. And there you can see a perfect butterfly antenna. The other thing you want to do on this end is cut the angle um, that's going to fit your mosaic. So um, the butterfly head is probably rounded so you might want to cut an angle off. And then the other thing I do with this end bit here because it's nice and soft is I crush it as flat as I can on the end here which means there's less poking up above the glass and because it's double layered it will sit and balance quite carefully without any wobbly bits generally I need to straighten it of course so you can glue that quite easily there you have your lovely butterfly antenna these also look pretty good as flower stamens. So I hope you enjoy making those. Bye.